in this SOLIDWORKS tutorial we will be creating a bolt model so we want to at first we have to create the hexagon so select the top plane then go to tools sketch entities polygon then give the center point at 0 0 then give the direction and click the point then press escape so we want to create a m12 polygon so we will dimension it as 24 so it will be face to face distance will be double of that size that means it will be 24 just select two lines give the location and put the dimension of 24 24 accept so 24 dimension polygon is ready then just accept this then we, we have to extrude it by 12 again so again we will say extrude was base then click on the poly law, polygon then give the depth of 12 again thickness will be 12 click on accept so a 12 polygon is ready now we, ha we have to cut here create a cut that will give a bolt like shape so to create that cut basically at first we have to create a plane passing through these two points so to create that plane click on the plane then select this vertical line and the point on opposite side so this plane is created just accept then on this plane I have to create a triangle at the corner that I will cut a revolve cut so I will just select this plane and I will say draw line then I want it to be normal to then just create the line from roughly from this point I will create it up to the end so up to this point and then back to start point just escape then angle with between these two lines will be 30 degree so just give the dimension smart dimension select this line and inclined line and give the angle of 30 degree and just press enter now this triangle is defined and uh, we want to do a revolve so we will need a center axis so that you can create using center line from this zero zero reference create a vertical center line then escape and just accept here so now we want to revolve cut this triangle so just go back to revolve revolve cut revolve cut then click on the triangle so this revolve cut is form just accept it so in this way bolt top is ready now we have to create the bottom shank so for that we will go on the bottom plane and again say sketch circle then at this 0 0 reference we will create a circle of 12 as our bolt is of 12 m12 size then give the dimension to this circle of 12 12 enter so 12 circle is ready accept then we have then we have to extrude it so just go back to extrude boss base select the circle and give the height suppose I want a height of 50 so just say 50 enter accept so this shaft is ready just zoom fit so in this way this bolt with shaft is ready now we want to do threading so for threading we will need to create a helix so for that just click here click on the curves and select helix and spiral then select the bottom plane and create a circle at the bottom plane so I will create a circle of 12 so I will directly take a reference of this arc is there already circle is there 
so define the uh, dimension of the circle as 12 so just select the smart dimension select the circle and give the dimension of 12 enter then just say accept then direction should be upside so just click on this arrow direction arrow and take it up so I want it to be up upside then here in the parameters helix and spiral parameters take height and pitch as a parameter so I want a height of thread to be of suppose 30 length is 30 and then pitch I want pitch to be of 50, uh, one point, uh, pitch to be of 3 3 pitch so in this way this helix is ready just accept it now I have to define the shape for the threads cross section of the threads so for that definition I will just create a reference plane at the end of the helix so just select the helix so reference plane is created just say accept so plane is ready now on this plane we want to create a we have to create a square of 1.5 by 1.5 so just go, uh, click on line select this plane new plane and just give the start point so we will create it outside then we will give the references to place it at proper place just create a rec uh, square and dimension it as 1.5 by 1.5 1.5 enter then height also 1.5 enter then we have to create a reference so that we can place it here so just draw a center line from mid to mid press escape then hold control and select this point and this point so we can apply the constraints so here we want to apply coincidence just say coincidence just click outside just say normal to so this square is placed at the end of the helix but here you will see that some part remains uncut here so to solve that problem we will create one more line here outside so that it it should clear that material and we will just it is uh, delete this line internal line and we will take the trim and corner option and we will connect these lines so it will form a shape like this then just accept it then take the sweep cut option so go to insert cut sweep then profile is already selected just select the path select the helix as a path just zoom minus and click on helix so just click on this option below the path option and select the helix so helix is ready then uh, selected just uh, say accept so in this way this cut is formed so in this way we have created a square thread for our bolt so in this way you can create a bolt with threads so that's all thanks for joining we will stop here